In this video, we're going to introduce isometric drawing as a way of drawing simple three-dimensional shapes. Two-dimensional shapes don't give us much information, so if we look at this simple sketch, it's very difficult to see what it's of until we get a three-dimensional view, looking at this isometric drawing. Isometric drawings are made up from lines that either go vertically, 30 degrees in one direction, or 30 degrees in the other direction. Notice there are no horizontal lines in this isometric drawing. We can either use a set square to measure 30 degrees, or we can use isometric paper like this. As you can see, the lines on this cuboid all follow the 30 degree lines or the vertical lines on this isometric paper. If we want to draw a cylinder, we draw a cuboid with a square front face. We take that front face and divide it equally into quarters using the isometric grid. Once we've quartered our front face, we need to draw an ellipse, so like a squashed circle, that meets the edge at these four points. We can then do exactly the same on the back face. I've temporarily drawn in construction lines to create the square at the back as well. Then, using our 30 degree lines, we can connect those two faces up and delete any lines or construction lines that we no longer wish to heap. We can use crating to create more complex shapes out of a series of basic blocks and cylinders. So if we start off by drawing a simple cuboid as our main body, we can then add another cuboid to the front of it and then turn that into a cylinder as we've seen previously. And we've then got the main shape of our camera. We can then use the same technique to add details or round off corners and then use the vertical lines to complete those edges. And then finally, get rid of any construction lines. I can then ink out the lines that I want to keep, putting a thicker line around all the outside edges just to emphasize them. We can then finish off our isometric camera by adding some shade. So by using the crating method, which is a series of blocks added together, we can create more complex shapes using isometric drawing. 